Is this working? Okay, yes. Okay, guys, today is a little bit weird. I mean, tonight is a little bit weird. I got something new here, and this is my new laptop. So, today is gonna be some little unboxing on Lenovo ThinkBook 15 Gen 2. This one is packed with Intel Core i7 11 Gen. So, this guy packed with the beefy power. So, I'm gonna unpack this right now. So, let's go! Okay, so here this is the box. And it's just really, really big. And then just a little at the corner right here. But yeah, I think it's safe inside. So, I'm gonna unbox it. So, here we go. This is a bit hard because I don't have the monitor screen facing me, so it might be out of frame. But so carefully using knife to open the box. And on the side too, just carefully unbox this thing. Okay, <laughs> I'm a bit worried about the viewing angle of the camera, but okay, this one is fine. It's just out of the way. Okay, look at that. A thin book. A really sturdy box. The steel, sorry, the seal is not broken, so I'm gonna take on the seal. Uh, what are you confused about the seal of this one? Why is that? Like, um, okay, I'm gonna. Hmm. Never unboxed one, one of these before. So the box may be different. Okay, so that's good. So let's get the thing out. Wow, yes. And I hope it's just oh it's not open up. It's just a little door on the side. Okay. So take here first. Um <coughs> oh, the brick. So here I got the brick. It's really nice with the USB Type C and power cord. So this one is in Thailand. It's different when you are in different region. And I don't think that this thing book available in other country like USA, Canada, or Australia. It seems like this one going for Asia market and probably uh, Russia or Russia or I don't know. But also the price is different. Talking about spec a little bit. So this ThinkBook 15 G2. Let me just. Ah, gosh. So this uh, ThinkBook 15 G2 Intel. It's packed with Intel uh, Core i7, so this one is a custom spec that I request from Lenovo. So it's a Core i7, 11, uh, something I'm not really remember. And yeah, this guy is powerful and the latest generation of Intel Gen 11. So um, the RAM is soldered on board. Uh, 8 gigabyte and I add another 8 gigabyte to it so 16 is far than enough for me also about the graphic card um, there's option for the GeForce MX450 so I go with that route so I can have two graphic cards so when I'm doing something that require a lot of graphic I can go with the MX450 and OBS using uh, Intel Quick Sync Recorder, so they just two separate uh, GPU. One for video rendering, one is for workload and stuff. 
So yeah, 11th gen, still Windows 10, but this guy is probably eligible for Windows 11. I hope so, because right now, oh gosh, my Lenovo um, yoga book, I really want to update this guy into uh, to Windows 11, but yeah, it start this week because I in a Windows Insider for I don't know four or five years now and just playing with Windows. Anyway, let's pull this guy out. Ah, this setup guy, paperwork. Yeah, you can see it. Um, paperwork, uh, stuff. Restriction of distribution. Copy your window, blah, 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 blah. I don't know why in uh, Lenovo it's kind of like older service website they're telling that this Lenovo, uh, this machine installed with a single language. But at least it's a single language English, so that's fine because I've had experience using Windows 10 in Thai language and by far it's really suck. So anyway, nothing left in the box, just put on the side. So we got BV charger and power cord and then the laptop itself. Really nice. Okay, so I'm gonna get this on the box. Look at that! Wow! Man! There is a... Here. I'm not sure that you can see on the camera, but there is hair in this guy. Oh no. QC, thank God. Look at the back here. What do we got? Windows 10, obviously. Uh, Nvidia sticker. This thing is kind of crazy. I just want to move to this thing to the front. It look kind of geek. Like, yeah. <laughs> My <sighs> yoga book. Look at that. How geek is it? <sighs> so, let's open the lid up. Okay, so let's take this away. We got a keyboard right here, so yeah. A trackpad, I think really nice. A Thai keyboard, that's great. And the camera, we got uh, something called thing shutter. I don't know that, but it just simply is this mechanical switch. It's a mechanical switch? It's just mechanical slider that just block your camera, so the spy. Hackers just cannot see you even the camera is on. Okay, I need to keep looking at the screen again on my phone. This we got a power button which is integrated with um free looping sensor. And some weird thing about this PC that it had a support button. That's when I press the function, I believe function, and then press this guy, um, this, this face, and you cannot see. Um, oh, 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 gosh, so, just the support button that I will never use. By far, it looks okay. Take a look on the left here. We got uh, two USB-C Thunderbolt port, Th Thunderbolt 4, I believe, yes, Thunderbolt 4. And we got full-size HDMI 2.0, I believe, and then this USB 3.1 or 3.2, not sure, but it's high speed these days, and then the combo jack and we got um I don't know this is a reset probably reset button inside and the battery status. On another side here we got a Kensington lock that in my whole life I will never use them because no one used this. I've never heard people using this before. Maybe they use but I don't know. But here we go. RJ45 
really nice for your Ethernet LAN connection. Also another USB probably 3.2 and SD card slot. Nice. So this machine, a uh, Lenovo actually advertised with the built-in earbud, for, but for some reason it's not available in this machine too. So that is kind of it's kind of weird that you have a you can have a built-in uh, built-in earbud into your computer. Man, this is crazy. Hey, I stop. So let's try turning this guy on. You can see, can you see it? Let's try turning this guy on. Let's see what happened. I'm holding the button. No sign whatsoever. Probably I need to plug in the charger. Gonna do it real time. Gonna take this. Gosh, fresh, fresh. Oh, I love this. I love this. I love this thing. Look at the power brick. Look at the power brick. This a uh, little bit. I don't know. Take a look at that. I don't think that is normal, but this might be a feature that you have some little wiggle room to it. Uh, really nice. Little night type C is not focusing. Is this focus? Just regular type C with this one power delivery, I believe, to 65 watts. Um, somewhere else, yeah, 20 volts at 3.25 M maximum, and maximum uh, power output is 65 watts. So, yeah, it's an ideal world power output. So, let's go with this one. Take this plastic off. <clears throat> and hey, real quick. Luckily, I have the outlet plug really near to me, just behind the camera, behind my phone, obviously. Just plug this guy in, and I'm gonna come back. So, I'm gonna get this. I'm gonna get this. Oh yeah. Let's pop the pop the cord in. Yeah, we got we got the charging pool and the fans spin up. I can feel it. I feel like uh, it's probably charging ship require some cooling. That is a 65 watt monster. If you need an assistive screen, there it is. press the Windows, Control, and Enter keys at the same time Sorry, to turn on narrator. I want to meet you. Oh. To meet. Okay. So, just a quick reset and power on again. It's back. So, let's go along with me because. I want to see if the Wi-Fi is working correctly. Yes, I want US layout. Also, I use Thai layout too. Let's see if um, our touchpad working correctly. With two finger. Yes, really nice. So literally, I use tap to click. I'm not quite a guy pressing down because you know, I've been using a tablet, a laptop, with. Glass as a keyboard for about two years now. Is right now is I'm going to the third year of frustration on the touch keyboard. Okay, where is Thai language? T H A I. Yeah, this one. It's quite sad that this model does not came with touch screen because I really a big fan of touch screen. And that's why I really excited for Windows 11 because, well, it's 
working better with touch screen. Okay, um, let me adjust the exposure a little bit. It's really hard to see. Okay, so I'm gonna connect to Wi Fi real quick. So, yeah, the key, the key, the key, sorry, sir. It's really painful when I don't have touch screen. Okay, so connected. Um, yeah. So nice things about this as you have a light up LED for the num lock. Yeah, num lock, cap lock. Also with the FN. Uh, lock, but I'm not gonna using that anyway. Occasionally, okay, just setting up things and stuff like Microsoft. So again, the speaker is working fine. The touchpad, I mean trackpad, working fine. The Wi-Fi mm, seem to be fine with 2.4 gigahertz. And this guy is actually packed with a 6 GHz capable Wi-Fi, the AX capable. I'm not sure about the uh, internet uh, Ethernet adapter that is used for both LAN and uh, the wireless LAN. But yeah, as long as it's working, it's fine for you and it's fine for me. And I, and I have a plan to install Linux on this guy too, maybe get, get another uh, NVMe SSD because this guy can add another drive but yeah, it's just uh, NVMe this day but that is nice okay license agreement blah 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 I'm gonna skip this anyway so you can enjoy it much more so using some kind of movie magic 2000 years later Okay, I'm in, but just wallpaper that sings through my Microsoft, just nah. So, okay, the touchpad is really nice um, compared to the touch glass on my Lenovo Yoga Book. This one, it seems fine. And let's see what we got in the view control panel. Obviously, we both with a uh, both what is did is that one look like McAfee? Not sure about that, but I never used that one and never be used that one. McAfee, okay, talking about McAfee a bit that he reportedly he just uh died in Spanish cell prison somewhere else, I'm not sure, but yeah, just for your information. Okay, what we have got here a lot of junk where a lot of junk where that I need to uninstall obviously so the sound is working mm, compared to my yoga book I feel like yoga book is a little bit better it's just I don't know man but that's fine Lenovo welcome no just let me testing also first thing first I will do it. this is not that that is not that pixel no first thing I will do is screen testing this is a case that happened to me when I first bought a yoga book so my machine currently that I'm using for about almost uh, I think it's two years now is a replacement machine for the first one and the first one had a noticeable, one noticeable problem is Wi-Fi only worked after restart. So like, like uh, I said, it just turned it off and sit right there in the morning. I turn it on, the Wi-Fi just not there. But when I reboot, it just there. And I also spot the uh, black pixel. Um, you know is a kind of dead pixel so the way to do is I'm gonna test it out using online obviously online uh, what is called dead pixel test let's grab anyone anything of it so 
need to go to start test. Let's try checking the. Oh, it's not using function. Okay, yeah. Let's start a test. Okay, this is a little bit overexposure on this one. Oh, oh, I can change the ISO. Really nice. So the whites, everything looks fine. There may be just some a little grime on the display. So the white pixel, fine. Okay, the dark one, noticeably bleeding from the edge, but did from from the edge of the screen. But this is normal. The red one, what? <laughs> red, what? My phone picking up as yellow. Okay, they seem to be correct now. Okay, uh, just messing around with settings. Okay, the red one, same, just fine. The green, just fine. Blue, just fine. White, okay, recycle through that. Okay, really nice. So, it works. And, it not work, it's just fine. So yeah, I'm gonna do a follow up review for this one. This is gonna be just unboxing. So again, guys, goodbye. Goodbye, guys. See you on the next video. I hope you enjoyed this one and stay safe. Bye bye.